Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, I will show you how to make money on people per hour with freelancing jobs. I will explain everything you need to know about this, what people per hour is, how earning money on this website works, how you can sign up as a freelancer yourself, and how you can post offers on the job marketplace for free. So with that being said, leave a like and now let us get started right away. All right, guys, before we dive a bit deeper and learn how to post freelance jobs yourself, let us learn about your earning potential first. So how does earning money on people per hour work in practice? Well, it is actually pretty simple. People per hour is an online marketplace where people can buy and sell freelance services. You may sign up either as a buyer to hire a freelancer to do a job for you or as a freelancer yourself to make money by doing these freelance jobs for a client. In exchange for a payment, of course, according to their homepage, they are trusted by over 1 million businesses worldwide and feature work from home jobs and remote jobs in the following job categories, technology and programming, writing and translation, design, digital marketing, video and photo editing, business, audio marketing, and also social media. Each job category with a set of subcategories. Now guys, let us talk about some of the more lucrative jobs you can do as a freelancer. Well, it all depends on which skills and on how much work experience you have to showcase. However, let me tell you that there may be huge gaps or differences between these job categories in terms of their earning potential. Some jobs may bring you more, some less money. Take programming jobs, for instance, or app developing jobs. Basically, any jobs that are related to IT and to programming and to software tend to bring significantly higher earnings provided, of course, you know how to market and showcase your skills on the job market, of course. But we'll get to that in the latter part of this video. You can narrow down your search by selecting a keyword or subcategory here. For instance, select a programming language like Python, Java, or C++. Now, since I'm not an expert in programming, I'm not going to explain to you the differences between these. What I can tell you, though, is that website and software developing jobs have some decent earning potential. A higher one than transcription or logo designing jobs, for example. Take C++ programming services for the sake of this tutorial. As you can see, freelancers in that subcategory charge even sums like $100 up to $1,000 per programming service delivered to a client. Now guys, what makes people per hour so unique is the fact that there's comparably less competition than on other larger freelance marketplaces such as Fiverr or Upwork, for instance, and less competition means higher chances for the freelancer to rank their gig or service on page one or two on the job market and thus higher chances of getting hired more frequently by clients all right it's actually pretty trivial i mean just take a look at the number here there are currently 25 services ongoing here on people per hour under the search term c plus plus but at the same time services in that sub niche are getting sold you can tell by the customer reviews that have been left by clients that gig here for example has been rated already 35 times the one next to it eight times so there's definitely demand for that type of services on the job market but also only little competition whereas you will find more than 5100 ongoing services in the c plus plus sub niche on fiverr now that's a huge difference don't you agree so long story short it all comes down to finding a niche with decent demand and search volume, but also with as little competition as possible. And posting your freelance gigs on people per hour may be beneficial for you if you're looking for an alternative to Fiverr and also to Upwork. You may also consider posting the same gig, the same service on several freelance marketplaces simultaneously and simply see how it works out do some A-B testing and learn which gig performs better on which marketplace. Of course, guys, it doesn't need to be programming or app developing services you can sell as a freelancer on people per hour. Let's say you would like to take advantage of your language skills and offer your services as a translator or transcriptionist on the job market. Uh, you can do that too, of course. Post a gig in your language pair, set your own price per service. Usually you get paid per word count as a translator and promote your offer, for example, on social media to send some targeted traffic to it or do some proper SEO for your gig and wait for clients to find you on the marketplace and to contact and to hire you instead of your competitors. As you can see, there are numerous supported languages, including Chinese, Italian, Spanish, German and Arabic, just to name a few. 
translate 500 words from English to Spanish, for example, for a price of $20. Now, 20 bucks for a word count or a text of 500 words length is not the worst deal, I'd argue, for the seller. That's slightly more than half an A4 paper. Then we got $35, $15, $20, and so on and so forth. Got it? Can you use AI translators to help you out as a freelance translator? I mean, it does sound tempting, right? Well, that's totally up to you. However, bear in mind that clients may always use AI detection software to find out if your written content has been generated by a human or by the artificial intelligence. And if they find out, your reputation on the job market as a seller may get damaged, unfortunately. AI translators usually don't translate with 100% accuracy, guys take that into consideration too. So my recommendation for you would be to utilize these AI translators only as a support and to always do your own original work. That applies actually to all freelance job categories. All right, so now let me show you how you can join people per hour as a freelancer and publish a couple of your own freelance gigs on the market. You can sign up entirely free of charge, guys. There are no sign up or monthly subscription fees. Simply click on this button here in the top right corner Next, select sign up as a freelancer on the following page. Register either with your email address or with your Facebook slash LinkedIn slash Apple account. Verify your freshly created account by clicking on the confirmation link they will send to you via email. And that's basically it. Well, you can post projects right away if you want, for example, to hire freelancers for your own projects. However, to post gigs on the marketplace yourself, it will be required from you to complete your freelancer profile first, guys. You can access your profile through your account settings here in the top right corner, make sure your profile looks really nice and professional, upload a profile picture and simply fill in this form below. Start with your job title like, I don't know, content writer for instance, or voiceover artist or social media marketing strategist. Next, add some of your key skills to your portfolio. You may add up to a maximum of 15, then describe yourself to buyers below. And lastly, add languages you speak fluently below and set your hourly rate. Bear in mind though that you can charge less than $10 per service here on people per hour, in contrast to Fiverr where you can charge as little as five bucks per services as you probably know. Also guys, make sure you describe yourself properly and tell potential buyers about your skills and also about your prior work experience. Because if you don't, people per hour might reject your application and ask you to include more information in your about you section. Once that's done, they will review your application. This may take up to seven working days if you sign up for free. New arrivals are also given the opportunity to speed the reviewing process up for a one-time fee of $13. Approval within one working day. So how you handle that is totally up to you. As you can see, you can post any offers and sell any services yourself as a freelancer on the marketplace until they haven't approved your application. Once you have been accepted, simply click on this button here at the top, post offer. Well, publishing gigs and selling services on the marketplace is actually not rocket science, guys. For example, if you have no idea whatsoever how your own services should look like, simply take a minute to do some proper research and look up how your competitors' gigs on the market look like and model what works for them. The main factors are a title with strong and niche-related keywords, of course, an eye-catchy thumbnail, an expressive thumbnail with only little text, and also a decent SEO-optimized, concise and compelling product description. Set a price per service and that's it. So that clients may find you on the market and hire you instead of your competitors. Alternately, you may, for example, select search for projects here at the top and next browse through the list of ongoing projects to apply for directly and manually. Like that one here, for instance, create a simple responsive accommodation landing page for a price of $32. If you have, for example, some expertise in building landing pages with website building tools such as Wix or System.io, bear in mind though that applying manually for these projects costs so-called proposals. Members can send up to 15 proposals for free per month. Additional credits can be purchased too once your free proposals per month has been used. And lastly, guys, as I said earlier, there are no sign-up fees and no monthly subscription fees. You can even post offers for free as a freelancer. However, people per hour charges freelancer a commission fee based on their earnings. For instance, 20% on lifetime buildings per buyer of services below 250 British pound and lower service fees for higher earnings like 7.5 
and 3.5%. So basically you might lose even up to 20% of your earnings, which is a lot in my opinion. On the other end though, they don't charge any subscription fees. So that's a plus, all right? Alternately, you may work on a 0% commission by simply promoting your profile online and by referring new clients to people per hour. Plus, your referrals may receive a welcome bonus of 30 British pounds for signing up through your invitation too. Got it? So I'd say we call it a day here, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time on our channel.